Uh, the U.S. and Cuba inching closer to normal relations after decades of animosity. The island nation so close to our shores could soon be a popular tourist destination. I think it will. Visitors, though, mm -hmm. will find that Cuba has a flourishing artistic life. And ABC's Mike Bickle got an early look. Americans' fascination with Cuba has rarely extended past cars and cigars. And while both line the streets of Havana, they have plenty of eye-catching competition. Art is everywhere in Cuba, from the streets to the schools to a few high-end galleries. Here, at a crafts market in Havana, work from dozens of local artists tower over the countless tourists that find their way to this massive warehouse. On the other side of town, select galleries represent those few that have earned international attention and command sky-high prices. And those looking to make a name for themselves are here, at the University of Arts of Cuba, where promising young artists enjoy a free education and a chance to hone their skills. And maybe, one day, add their name to a growing list of notable alumni. Los intereses que nos mueven a los artistas cubanos pueden ser muy similares a los artistas extranjeros. But while the education is free, artistic freedom still comes at a premium in Cuba. In December, performance artist Tanya Bruguera was arrested for attempting to stage an open mic performance in the Revolution Square in Havana. And other artists are being detained for work that is openly critical of the government. Still, there are those who contend that censorship has declined significantly in the last two decades, with Fidel Castro's brother Raul's succession marking a turning point. And with imminent trade and travel relaxations with the U.S., there may soon be a new batch of art collectors headed to Cuba. Yo pienso que se tienen que abrir los caminos y creo que el arte es un fenómeno que se puede encargar perfectamente de ello. Mike Bickle, ABC News, Havana. It's really cool. Uh, well, vacation, a new vacation spot. I think a lot of Americans are itching to go and they already have flights wait. and things like that. They can't wait.